What's going on smart people? My name's Dylan, I'm a physicist, and today I thought we could react to Rick and Morty. I was suggested this uh, show because apparently it has a lot of complex physics theories and ideas that are explored in it. And I thought that was pretty intriguing, so let's check it out together. I'm not sure how many of you guys have seen this show, um, but it's meant to be pretty popular, so let's have a look. I've currently got up episode one of season two, A Rickle in Time. So let's have a look. Hurry up, Morty. Grandpa's about to unfreeze time. You really should be cleaning from top to bottom. I know how to vacuum mom and dad, Summer. Right. I've been doing it for six So, off to a bad start because I see this in a lot of movies and shows that explore um, time travel. And if you were to freeze time, you wouldn't see anything like you do here. You would see blackness. And that's because what you're seeing is the light. And light travels only at the speed of light, which is, you know, 3 million meters per second, 300,000 kilometers per second, which is obscene, but it does. Um, and the reason you see things is because the light is hitting your eyeballs and going to the back of your eyeballs, your brain's processing it. Without this time hitting your eyes, you're not obviously going to see anything. So if you freeze time, there's no light traveling at the speed of light and hitting your eyeballs. So you would see nothing. You wouldn't see everyone paused around you. But anyway. Doing it for six months? Then you've been doing it wrong for six months. Oh my god, is that mildew? It's not my fault. The whole point of freezing time was to stop giving a f Put a shirt on your dumb dad and let's get this dumb universe rolling. Let's do this thing. I guess this is the uh, mad scientist. All right, listen, you that by now. It also means don't touch your parents or we could shatter into countless theoretical shards. Wait a minute, and what? we go. So I guess they're like antimatter or something. It's the annihilation. Much. Too much to hug you, though. Yeah, it would literally destroy them. Now listen, why don't, why don't, why don't, why don't you guys go get a free Sunday ice cream? Get out there and get some ice creams. Here's $500 cash and unmarked monies. I'm just going to put it on the floor and uh, kick it on over to you. You guys go nuts. This better not be a bribe. If I find a single thing out of place in this house, exactly. my love of ice cream too. won't Good save you. I'll get my jacket. Wait a minute. Sweetie, home. is your shirt on back? Man, that guy is the red grin grumble to pretending he knows what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you agree, huh? You like that red grin grumble reference? Yeah. Well, guess what? I made him up. You really are your father's children. Think for yourselves. Don't be sheep. <laughs> get this. Male asshole! Don't shove me! I did it! You didn't What's what? your problem? What's yours? Shut up! You shut up! Whoa, 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 what the hell? Hell, 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 hell! Oh god, I don't know. What did you guys just do? What, what did you do? Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> Were either of you guys uncertain about anything just now? Oh man, I don't feel good. Am, am I, I talking right now? I think so. Wait, who said that? Alright, both of you, just don't move. Don't speak. Don't think. I have to check something. What I'm gonna help do? Grandpa. What do you mean you're, you're gonna help him? can help too. What's Go happening, on, Grandpa? Shut up! Oh crap, are you kidding me? Two dots? This never needs to be more than one dot. The two of you made us uncertain. What are you what talking about? English? Is English? Our time is fractured. You two somehow created a feedback loop of uncertainty that split our reality into two equally possible impossibilities. What works? Right, so they're implying a lot of things here from physics, which is cool. Um, I, I heard uncertainty, so they're implying, they're implying Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Um, I'm not sure how it relates here, but what that, it doesn't really. They've sort of just chucked it in there as a buzz term to impress all the geeks, I guess. But Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is essentially, you can't know a particle's momentum exactly at the same time as its position. Knowing more of one will actually increase your uncertainty in the others measurement so again it's if you know a particle's position precisely it makes its momentum more fuzzy more unknowable um, and this might sound like this this is hard to believe when you first come across it but it is an inherently true uh, fact of nature um, and these aren't the only two uh, pairings of this relationship of this sort of relationship there's many pairings in reality of these dual 
relationships where knowing more about one makes the other less certain. I think another one's like energy and time. Knowing more of about something's energy makes it less certain in time. Um, and they've, they've been proved. You can prove this with quantum mechanics. Um, so yeah, it's a very cool, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is something that is a fundamental thing you need to know about when you study quantum mechanics. Then another thing they're implying here is the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, which I explore in a bit of detail in my video about tenets. So go watch that one. I won't rehash everything I've said, but quickly, every time there's a quantum measurement, the many worlds interpretation suggests it actually, the universe, reality, branches off into both choices. So I think in the other video I said, you know, if you're choosing between a decaf or a cappuccino, it's not a quantum measurement, pretend it is. Then in the branch reality, there's one where you have a cappuccino and there's one where you have a decaf. Um, so what this also implies is essentially the multiverse where there's infinite number of realities, essentially, uh, where everything that's allowable by the laws of physics is occurring, which means there's other yous out there. There's an infinite number of other yous out there, which is a scary thought. But no many physicists actually believe the many worlds interpretation. Um, a lot of physicists tend to stick to the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. So look those up. There's a bunch of interpretations. So these interpretations come down to how we perceive these equations in quantum mechanics, how they connect to reality. Um, it, it mostly stems from the wave function, uh, so Schrodinger's equation. And when you observe a quantum state, you collapse the wave function. Um, so if we go to quantum computing, where you have a qubit, a qubit can be in a superposition where it's in two states simultaneously. Observing the qubit collapses its quantum state into one of those states, so it's no longer in a superposition. Um, and, but in the many worlds interpretation, you're branching reality. So now there's two realities, one reality where the qubits in, you know, spin up another, uh, reality where the qubits in spin down and they both coexist. But there were infinite timelines. We're not on any timeline, dummy. Look. Oh infinite my God. Timelines. Are those cats? I assume they're Schrodinger's Still cats. Yeah. Actually, I assume they both are and aren't just like us. Is the world gone? So, Where are I'm sure you've all heard of Schrodinger's cat, so I don't really need to explain that one. But they've just sort of chucked together all these buzz terms from physics, especially quantum mechanics. So Schrodinger's cat its a thought experiment. Cat's both dead and alive, hence why it is and it isn't. Um, so I'm guessing they're going to be suggesting where they are is like some quantum realm where they are and they aren't or something like that. But the cat's cool. I like that. Dad! Dad! Mom and dad, get your head out of your family's ass. The three of us are lost in a timeless oblivion. Your parents get to exist. They're probably living it up in some pointless grounded story about their sh marriage. Cold Stone Creamery is the best. After a party? Look, there's no time to hold me accountable, Morty. Like literally no time. Look around. Uncertainty is inherently unsustainable. Eventually, everything either is or isn't. And we've got about four hours to be is. Or be isn't. Since this time crystal exists in both possibilities, and since it's impossible that I didn't... They just mentioned time crystals, so that's another real thing. They're very cool things. And they are real. They're not... They may, they may sound like some supervillain's doomsday device, but they're real. Um, so if you know what a crystal is, it has this uh, arrangement of atoms that are, it's, that are regularly repeating in space. Whereas these time crystals have this structure that regularly repeats in time. So what it actually is like this little cloud um, inside like a dilution refrigerator. You have to cool things down or near absolute zero. Um, and yeah, and then you can mess around with these time crystals. They may have some implications for quantum computing. So that's pretty cool, but they're very new and we barely understand them. So that's another cool uh, reference in Nail there. Nail this. I'm probably about to press this button in both possibilities at exactly the same time. How do you, How know, do you know, know that Whatever I... you're asking, the answer is I'm amazing. And away we go. Oh, what do you know? 
creatures or at least in Einstein's view of uh, space and time and gravity you know he bunched up all the spatial dimensions and treated time as the fourth dimension so in that if that was reality um, if that's how the world really worked which I think space time is doomed and there's got to be more to it than Einstein's view um, but say it were then um, you might have these four dimensional creatures running about. These four dimensional beings might really actually be able to just at will move through time seamlessly, backwards and forwards, going to wherever they want in space as well as time. Who knows? I like, hey, what, I like where they're going. Were you trying to use this to... Oh, see, you broke time and you thought you could just stick it back together with this? How you Bro, think you're gonna time. move time while you're standing in it, you dumbass three-dimensional monkey-ass dummies? Oh, way to go! Asses could ever have one is if it was stolen. You stole a time-freezing crystal from testicle monsters? I would've been happy to pay for it, <coughs> Summer, but they don't exactly sell them at Costco. Besides, there's a larger lesson to be learned here. Get him! Da -da 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 -da. You better keep back! Man, this will turn your ass into a third trimester fetus from 30 yards. We did it! Uh-huh. No, mother... No, Earth, dude. I'm talking about... Yeah, with the dinosaurs. But if, no, if you get to the dolphin people, you're gone too far. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. So this okay. comes back to what I was saying. You know what they... If you're a fourth dimensional being, you'd be able to move through time at will. Backwards, forwards. It's a time prison. Same thing they do in every other prison. Only forever. Why are you doing this? You think I want to be an omniscient, immortal being, transcending time and space my whole life? I got ambitions, man. Bringing you guys in is my ticket up. What if I told you there's a huge ticket up right behind you? You really think I'm not stupid? All right, hear me. Just please let me live. Oh my God, I got that. I got to fix this thing. Please God in heaven. Please God, oh Lord, hear my prayers. Yes! F you God. Not today, bitch. Please God, if there's a help, please be merciful to me. Yes, I did it! There is no God in your face! One die! Yay! Yay! 